Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Yo Yo Man with Barnsley. In today's episode, we're actually going to be facing Bristol City and Stoke City. Both home games, hopefully two winnable games. But we've got some fixtures to review since the last time we met. So following on from the victory against Nottingham Forest in the last episode, we ended up drawing 2-2 at home with the league leaders Brentford. We were actually 2-1 up until the 91st winner where Saeed Ben Rama scored for uh, Brentford to equalise. But a point against one of the best sides in the league, I was absolutely delighted with that. Next up was Derby at home and I did think this was end up going to be a defeat, to be honest with you. But we won 2-1. Tom Huddleston gave Derby the lead in the 81st minute and I thought, alright, that's that. We've dominated the game but we're going to be FM'd, it's going to be one of them things. But Jordan Ibe scored straight after, instantly. And then Rian Brewster scored straight after that to put us 2-1 up. And we got the three points, easy as you like. Back-to-back -back wins as well, this time away from home against Preston. Bruno Costa and Rian Brewster with the goals. Uh, Brewster did make the most of his time whilst Corley Woodrow was injured and got himself a good couple of goals. They did get one back seven minutes after Brewster's, Brewster's second, um, but they couldn't get back into the game and we won once again. Back to earth with a bang. <laughs> we had a home tie against Swansea and they've just got a better squad than we have. Andre Ayew put them in front in the 27th minute and then Joe Roden confirmed the win. Um, in the 82nd and despite us playing reasonably well we weren't terrible or anything again just our lack of quality I think catching up with us in this game we did then go away from home against West Brom obviously one of the best sides in the league again and we managed to get the win Corley Woodrow returning from injury getting the winner in the 55th minute in a game where we deserved it as well there was no questions about it. we were the better side and we got the three points and finally was a disappointing away defeat against Huddersfield. Corley Woodrow and Jordan Ibad put us 2-0 up inside 12 minutes but then they started to dominate the game and progressively got more and more into it. As Trevor Shabala, Shalaba got the first goal in the 18th minute for them then Carlin Grant got two goals just before half time then just after half time and that was that and Huddersfield ended up taking the three points and that sees the, pre uh, the Premier League I wish. That sees the Skybet Championship Looking like this, we currently sit in 10th position on 22 points, still only one point outside of the playoffs. But we are now 13 points clear from the relegation zone. So the way things are going and the way things stand, I think it's safe to assume we're going to stay in this league this season. We are not going to get relegated, um, purely based on our current form. Six wins, four uh, draws, four defeats. I would say, I'm not sure how many of the points target is to stay up in the championship, but let's say it's 50 points. We're almost halfway there, only 15 games in. So uh, we're looking quite comfortable and quite confident in our first season expectations, but can we push on and actually get into the playoffs? That would be absolutely phenomenal. Today's episode then, Bristol City first, currently in 8th position, and then Stoke in 11th. Two teams in and around us. Let's see how we'll get on. So this is going to be the lineup for today's game. Rad Linger in goal, Cavaria, Diaby, Halmier and Ben Williams in the defence. Alex Mort and uh, McGeehan in the centre of midfield. Wilkes should be dropped. I should be dropping him, but I'm going to give him one more chance. He's averaged a 6.22 over the last five games. Believe me, I am aware. Uh, Bruno Costa playing in behind the striker, Jordan Ibe, and then Corley Woodrow completing the lineup. And they come on us with a 5-3-2 attack and wing backs. That Pedro Pereira on loan from Benfica. I used to love managing him when he was at Sampdoria, but never mind. Uh, decent little side there, uh, Bristol City have got. They were obviously challenging for the playoffs as well. Um, but Ashley Williams, uh, is that Bailey Wright? He's at, uh, he's at Sunderland now, injured. Um, Jefferson at left wing back, I recognise. Uh, he's worth £5 million, but he, he is absolutely fantastic, actually. Signing him on a free transfer was a good bit of business. Andy Vyman, uh, formerly of Aston Villa. Decent side Bristol City have got, but we are at home. You never know, might be able to get the win. First highlight of the game, about nine minutes in, it's uh, Barnsley currently in possession in the midfield. Cavari and Moat playing it backwards and forwards, just retaining possession and looking for an opening. Bruno Costa can find it though, he's always on the ball. Jordan Ibe on the left-hand side plays it back to Williams, the ball's played in. And then Malik Wilkes, he's 6.22 average rate in all the past five games. We needed to keep faith and he has proved it today with his sixth goal of the season. I think he's our top scorer, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, but Jordan Ibe does well to keep the ball in play. Ben Williams with an absolutely fantastic cross from his left-back role. And Wilkes arriving at the back post to make it 1-0. Jordan Ibe collects the ball just outside of our box and he can drive forward. Is this going to be the goal of the city? No, it's not. He plays it off to Moore, who finds Wilkes, who finds Cavaria. Can he whip it in back post? He finds Corley Woodrow. Jordan Ibe 
to Gil Edge's opportunities is it over Wilkes <laughs> three in a row that, that was bad <laughs> Highlight now, Bristol City on the attack this time as Naji tries to play in Pedro Pereira. We very, very uh, sketchily get rid of that as Jordan Ibe finds himself in behind. He should be burying that, Jordan Ibe. You should be good enough to do that. So we're not really retaining possession very much um, using our current tactic. I'm not that bothered though. Bristol City are not really creating any opportunities. Uh, we haven't seen a highlight that's went their way so far. And that is going to be the end of the first half. Barnsley nil, Bristol City won. Happy with how things are going. Um, we'll kick straight back off for the second half. No changes required. I did see Collie Woodrow picked up a little bit of a knock in the first half. He seems to have recovered though. So, but Ryan Brewster is on the bench and waiting. Should he be required? Corner. Bruno Costa to play it in. It falls to Jordan Ibe. And he hits the bar. <laughs> Jordan's just not having the uh, the look of the green at the minute. More with the corner this time. It's played in the front post. Cleared though. Jordan Ibe. Back out of Mort. Can he get the ball in? He can. Corley Woodrow's there. And he goes over the bar. 15 minutes or so to go. We'll have to make some changes. We'll look to bring on Pinalos on for uh, Ben Williams at left back. Bring on Jordan Williams for Cavara. Uh, Cavara at right back. Um, our wing backs, as with every system I think I've ever developed, are the ones who struggle the most um, because they do the most work. With five minutes to go, though, things are looking pretty comfortable. Um, they're still only on a positive team mentality. They've gone very attacking. We will go cautious. We will, oh my God, we will look to make our final change. Bring on Jacob Brown on that right-hand side. Ball's played in, goes over the bar. Nothing to panic about, nothing to worry about. Um, a minute to go. And time is ticking away. And there it is, full time. A massive, massive win against a team who are around a similar sort of level of us at the minute at the very least. Barnsley won, Bristol City nil. Let's move on to the Stoke game. I know it says we're not supposed to believe them, but I am hoping that a Barnsley takeover is about to happen and we get a sugar daddy. But we'll ignore that for now because uh, it's still at the very early stages. It's the first time I've seen that message um, and it's obviously clearly not to be believed. So we're at the Stoke game and I don't think we're going to make any changes to this start in 11. Everybody seems relatively fit and relatively comfortable. So let's move on and get into the Stoke game. So obviously Stoke have got one of the best squads in the, prim uh, in the championship. Ryan Woods, I know, is a former Brentford player, who I remember managing at one stage or another on football manager. Joe Allen, um, Cameron Carter-Vickers, Bruno Martins Indy. I remember when he was <laughs> he was a must-sign back in the day. Um, Tom Ince, Scott Hogan, a good uh, championship striker. But uh, they've obviously fell out of favour. Oh, Jack Butland, of course, as well. We always, we always end up signing him most of the time. But uh, they've obviously fell out of favour in the championship recently and they seem to be on a similar sort of level than we are. So, us being at home, I fancy us today. First highlight of the game, to corner for Stoke. We managed to get it clear, but not really that well done. But Wilkes comes in, pinches the ball, clears to Rian Brewster, who's starting up top today. And Rian Brewster's going to keep this in. He's got no support, so I don't know what he's going to do. He's going to go for goal himself, isn't he? He doesn't. He goes to the back post. And finds Jordan Ibe, and that is Rian Brewster's goal. Let's be quite frank about that. He created it. He provided for it. He was all alone for so many years. But he managed to get the ball to the back post. And Jordan Ibe was just waiting nicely. Easy little finish for him. His eighth goal of the season. And we go 1-0 up. Another highlight. Jordan Ibe receives the... I mean, just don't even bother showing me that. 22 minutes in and we have another highlight and it's also on the attack. Alex Moore switches the plate to Cavaria on the right hand side. He, he struggles to keep that in. I don't know why. It wasn't going that fast, mate. But uh, we keep the ball in the midfield. Not really, not much movement here apart from the left hand side and we'll find it with Williams. He gets the ball in the back post. Wilkes is there. It's not to be this time. Ryan Woods picks it up in the centre of midfield for Stoke but he gives the ball away to Wilkes on this right hand side. He knocks a nice little through ball for Rian Brewster. Jack Butland is equal to the challenge, though. It's obviously going to take some good um, some good strikes to beat Jack Butland. He's the best goalkeeper in the championship by a country mile. So uh, we'll have to be at our best if we're to get the goals today. And that's going to be that for the first half. Barnsley won Stoke nil. An electric start, but the rest of the first half pretty much died with a little bit of a whimper. Um, we'll kick off of the second half, though. Obviously, things are going extremely well for us going by the match stats. And no need to change anything. Do I ever change anything at half-time, though? Very rarely. Alex Moore with a free kick. Plays it in back post. It falls to Wilkes. The shot is blocked. Is it still alive, though? Diaby. Oh, he's, he's offside. 
With 20 minutes to go, we will look to make our changes. Cavaria can come off for Williams. And would you would you know it, Ben Williams is coming off for Pinellos. There's a shot, we'll sub our two fullbacks. And with only 10 minutes to go, we will look to make our final change. Rian Brewster is going to come off for Corley Woodrow. Great bit of play by Brewster to set up the goal initially, but he hasn't really been involved in the game at all since then. And time is just ticking away. They've went very attacking. We'll go cautious or balanced for the last few minutes, but it looks like it's going to be an easy, easy win. Barnsley won, Stoke nil. That game went by very quickly, and Stoke offered absolutely nothing for that. So back-to-back -back wins in today's episode. Let's see where this sees us lie in the championship. We currently sit in the playoffs. We are in sixth position. Eight wins in 16 games, four draws, four defeats, 28 points, a plus seven goal difference. Jordan Ibes on the top scorer list. We are loving, loving life. Let's not get carried away. It's still only November. We're still relatively early on in the season. But we're going to win the title, boys. No, we're not. We might, we might end up in the playoffs. We're playing pretty well. We haven't really got the money in January to strengthen. One and a half million and 18k in the budget. Um, isn't too shabby. But um, we're not going to be able to make major improvements to our first eleven. But we can be relatively pleased and confident with how things are going. And you never know. We might, we might be able to maintain it. I know we've just played back-to-back -back home games, but I'm looking at this. Redden in fourth, QBR in fifth, back-to-back -back home games. Might be the time to come back. We'll be competing with teams who are obviously looking to be in the playoffs. Um, so that seems like an ideal place to come back for. So that's where we will return. If you have enjoyed today's video, please, please consider leaving a like. And if you're not subscribed, why not, man? I've only got 400 odd subscribers. But until next time, take it easy.